So it's green for two reasons. It's green because it's good for the environment, and it's green as in the color of money. It, mm -hmm. It's not just a good idea on a shelf. We want that idea to be out and in the market so that people are using it and jobs are being created. And this is very consistent with the president's plan. I mean, he's said a n number of times during his campaign and since he's been elected that one of the paths to the future for this country is through green technology and green jobs. And we think this is a, an important piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. So our intent here is to get students thinking about green technology and hopefully investing some of their careers in this direction. We're looking for good ideas. We're looking for companies to be started. And I'm thrilled to report that some of our previous winners have actually started companies and they're making money and are employing people, so it's working. Yeah. Um, can you give me some examples? Or? Well, there was one of my favorite ones is uh, one of our previous winners came up with a way of providing real-time information about energy use uh, and applied it in a dorm. So if you were living in a dorm and you ran the hot water or you turned on a light or you left your computer on, you were getting instantaneous feedback on how much energy you were using. Well, when people knew what they were using, they were more apt to turn off the lights or put uh, sh shower sa uh, water saver modules in their showers and do other things. And in a relatively short period of time, the dorm got a 30% reduction in energy use using no other technology but just letting people know what they were using. Well, it went to another phase where the, the neighboring dorm said, well, we'd like to try that too, and it got into be a competition. Mm -hmm. And at last I heard they were well up into the 30% reductions, and who knows where they're at now. Wow. Now they started a company, and uh, we're understanding that that technology is now going to be employed in the Capitol building to help make better use of energy use in the capital, mm -hmm. where they get more interactive feedback on where, the, where they're spending energy and have a computer system to manage it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just a spark of an idea and it takes off. And what I find interesting is that, you know, 50 years ago somebody may, may have told you to get into engineering. That's the f future. And they mm -hmm. probably would have been right. And 25 years ago it would have been IT, computer hardware and software. Well, what is it you tell young people today? Where is the future if you're going to start investing in a career? And I think it's green technology. I think it's the future. Uh, I think the president does. He's going to invest a lot of money in it. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll all be better off for it if, if, if it all becomes true. How big a part of the EPA's mission is encouraging innovation in, in, the, in the private sector, which seems to be the, the, uh, the goal here? Yeah. Um, it, it is becoming an increasingly important part. It hasn't been a big part of our job. Uh, we get our uh, guidance from Congress who passes mm -hmm. laws and we have to implement them. But you know, many of the things that were important for the agency to do 30, 40 years ago when we first started uh, we, were evolving and the issues are evolving and uh, we're looking at this type of approach more and I think we're in an administration where they'd be much friendlier towards these kinds of ideas. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping for, I think we're in a good place now, but we're hoping for better things in the future. Okay. What sort of, what sort of uh projects are in the pipeline that you can speak about when it comes to promoting innovation or uh, developing new technologies? Are there things that uh, the, this, this administration is particularly focused on? Well, we have a number of existing programs. I'll give you some examples. Sure. Um, we have a ETV program, Environmental Technology Verification. Okay. And if you are an entrepreneur or an engineer and you have come up with a new idea, and you want some feedback on the uh, acceptability or the functionality of that technology and you want some assistance to help bring that technology to market, uh, we have a program by which people can apply, mm -hmm. they submit their ideas, huh. they're evaluated and we actually provide to a quarter million dollars of seed money so that those technologies can be accelerated and brought to market use sooner rather than later. Um, it's not just EPA that does that, the Department of Energy and a variety of other federal agencies have those programs. We're all in it together. Right. But those are the kind of things that I think are very productive in helping move the ball forward on these important issues. Okay. How does a project like this and, and an expo like this help push forward education? How, how big a part of this is uh, bringing in people who, who are not engineers, who, who are not uh, thinking about uh, these technologies, but rather maybe people on the street. How does the EPA uh, bring those people into the fold, and, and what, what role does this project play in that? Well, I think this is an example of one of those kinds of things. We, we specifically picked 
uh, this week to hold the event because we knew people would be out looking for Earth, Earth Day related activities. Mm -hmm. Mother Nature was very kind to us today and we have great weather. Yeah. Um, this is one of a number of things you can do to help make people aware. Um, I think one of the things I, I'm very encouraged about is you see lots of young people, you know, still in high school. Mm -hmm. They're coming here and they're, 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 the, the lights are, are they're connecting the dots and they're starting to make career decisions about where they want to go to school mm -hmm. and what they want to do. And um, I've had more than a few people tell me that today that they brought their children down here to help them better decide what college to go to. They're actually doing some college, checking out of colleges by talking to some of the students here and asking them about their environmental programs. That's great. So sometimes these things have effects that you never really planned on, but, but they just happen. Right, right. Are there particular uh, projects you've seen in here that are exciting to you? Yeah, every year there's, there's a whole new set, and, and so many times I walk up to a project and say, gee, that's a neat idea, why didn't I think of that before? Um, one of the uh, ones that uh, are, are most exciting to me are the alternative energy. Uh -huh. There's all types of projects in here that are taking existing waste and turning it into uh, electricity or methanol or some type of biofuel. Uh, there's one just inside the door on the right where they're looking at coffee waste. Okay. and how to turn that into biodiesel um, and a, a unique process that is really tailored towards coffee uh -huh. uh, and there's money to be made at it and so that's one thing I find interesting another thing I've noticed over the last few years is that young people are much more comfortable with technology and they're weaving technology into their projects uh, computers, software, uh, digital uh, PDAs are, are part of, of the equation to make some of these things work or at least to monitor how effective they are. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a trend we're going to keep seeing. And another thing we're noticing is that um, the students that even didn't win this year but or, or were not invited back but won previous years, they're coming back anyway and they're using their own money to get here mm -hmm. because they're getting an enormous amount of value in, it, in, in interacting with other similar students who are working on things. And we're finding that um, on some of these projects, they're connecting projects where you may have two or three good ideas, each of which is not uh, economically feasible to be self-sustaining, but when you combine them together, sure. they actually work. Right. So we're seeing more of that. So yeah. that was something that uh, is, is a surprise to us. Uh -huh. how, may I ask how long you've been at the EPA? Um, I've been there 29 years. It was, it was wow. my first job out of college. Can you describe how this EPA differs from the previous administration? Well, I think there is a renewed emphasis on science. Uh, we've seen that right from the beginning. They are, are embracing the science that the agency produces in a, in a very open and honest way. They want to hear what the scientists have to say. Uh, mm -hmm. That doesn't mean the science will always make the decisions, but they want clean, unadulterated science. Uh, at all levels, and we've been getting that message very clear and repeatedly. So we're excited about that, and uh, we're sure it's going to continue.